Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. So I got uh, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed installed with KDE Desktop Environment and you know I th while OpenSUSE is a I think a really stable distribution uh, it's been around a long time and I think um, you know it, it just matches and works so well with uh, the KDE Desktop Environment I'm really pleased with the setup and so there's one issue it's a distribution that, I'm going to put it this way, it's got a great personality, but it lacks a little on the looks department. So it's kind of bland. The default theme and everything from OpenSUSE is kind of business-like. Uh, there's no real flash there, uh, kind of washed out appearance as far as the theme is concerned. So I went through today after I got everything set up and had some fun theming out uh, KDE for OpenSUSE and just wanted to share the steps I uh, went through and and how I themed everything out and and I'll share with you kind of some of my favorite icon packs and my favorite themes so let's jump into it so the first thing you're going to do and oh but before I begin I enlarged this panel just so that you could get a better view of the icons and everything so um, first thing I did was I went into settings and you're going to go to work Play, uh, workspace theme and you'll notice that you have three themes breeze breeze dark and open source I left open source um, selected and that is default that's what it launches into uh, so you leave that alone or you can mess around you can experiment uh, but I left that alone for my particular look because I I like this lighter background um, so I just left it as it was the next step I took was I went into desktop theme and I installed actually here I installed two um, here's elegance and Arctica that's what I have now um, installed this is the setup you see and you've got kind of a, a darks or smoke gray with kind of a gunmetal gray here for your favorites bar and the panel matches the rest of it um, and your uh, window title bar here matches the panel here so there's multiple ways to get themes but I think the easiest way to get themes within KDE is you simply click on get new theme now what's going to happen here is this window is going to open up and it's going to populate and I believe this these themes are pulling in from KDE look now by default it's ordered by newest and typically what you're going to find under newest is you're going to find lower rating um, themes but that doesn't mean they're not good themes it's just that some of these themes have not been around a long time and you know because of that they don't have a lot of ratings if you go to most downloads for example you're going to find themes that have been around a long time with a lot of downloads and high ratings because they've been tweaked out and improved over time now um, Arctica will be found the quickest because there's no search up oh, there is here it is okay how did I miss that earlier anyway so you could simply do a search and it should narrow down there for you if I spelled that right and I did not shame on me and there we go so you could launch into this do your search for Arctica go ahead and click on install and it, and these themes they install within a matter of seconds so no long download times or anything like that now if you see something you like um, you can click into details and let me go ahead and enlarge this so you can click into details and it'll open a window now you can't really do anything with these um, the size of of the preview you have here you can click from one to the other uh, but if you need to see more you can click on home page and that'll typically take you over to um, we'll go ahead and do that that'll take you over to in this case opendesktop.org and there you can see larger images alright so once you've got that set up and installed I'm gonna go ahead and close here um, you'll come back and you may it should show up uh, quickly if it does not you can go out and come back in and then you'll see it then you just simply choose that uh, theme and click apply and then you're going to want to move to the next setting which is your icon theme 
Now this is a uh, papyrus arc. I like this. It's a flat theme or uh, flat icon theme. And I'm kind of getting burnt out on the flat look, but this is such a, a well done theme. Uh, there are a few others that I've mentioned before too. Uh, if you look at, uh, just do a Google search for Ravefinity. Um, that that group has got a two beautiful sets of icons, which are vivacious and luminous. So uh, give those a look. I'll just give those guys a shout out because they're also um, just beautiful professional icons, and they don't look quite as flat. But anyway. I like this theme and uh, so you get the icon theme the same way. Now I had a problem. It, it it would install but it wouldn't actually apply. I I really did not see the theme. So here I could you know uninstall it from here. Um, and so then I logged out, logged back in, it still did not apply. I rebooted and then they applied. Now you can also get icon themes you know through the web so in this case I'll put a link here in case you uh, have an issue and you want to install it this way um, you know you also get to see more of what the icons are about and you'll see files here under the link and I, again I'll put this under the video notes now what I did here was since I do not have um, XDG set up yet if you have XDG set up by default or well in the case of OpenSUSE it wouldn't be by default but if you get it set up, you could click on install and it'll start the install process that way. If not, simply right click here, download the file, and then you can click um, click on that file and, and choose install and it'll install that way. Um, but again, like this theme, very professional. I think it's a nice look. If you're not fond of the flat theme that's going on, you know, that's been going on for some time, um, I'd recommend moving on and there's lots of other themes to choose from and again uh, very easy to go in here and look for themes uh, if you go to rating you're gonna see there it is vibrancy colors but you cannot install that from here it's gonna send you to an external link so uh, that's kind of a uh, that's misleading there it will not let you install from there but there are a ton of icons to choose from here and uh, again really easy to install really easy to set up so once you have that all in place then you would choose the set that matches whether it's a light theme or dark theme in this case I just went with the default uh, papyrus arc theme and, and it works fine so got that all set up and then I went into application style and from there I went to window decorations now here by default you only see two. You see plastic and breeze. But again you can go in. It'll populate. Go to most downloads and you can go through and select. Here's one simplicity. I may have to check that out. Let's just go ahead and apply that. Uh, simplicity blue. You'll see, see here how quickly that installs. Alright we'll click close. Now this may or may not apply we'll have to we'll come out and come back in and I may not see it until I log out and log back in I've just noticed that sometimes uh, depending on the theme that's just the way it works sometimes it will not install at all we'll, I'll find out later at, at any rate I chose breeze just the default breeze I happen to like the circle X uh, control there and then that again allowed everything to match so from um, system settings I went to again workspace theme from there desktop theme then I went into icons and then application so once you have all that set up um, your icons and everything are applied it's already got now a totally different look from the default um, less than attractive <laughs> open source themes um, and then I went in and did a search for a wallpaper. Now, to change your wallpaper in KDE, you right click and you can choose desktop settings. And there were only two by default, the um, OpenSUSE default and the KDE default. So you can either go in here again and uh, look for wallpapers through their um, 
their automated system here. I guess you'll call it automated. And I found a few fairly nice wallpapers. Or you just go online, you download your wallpapers. Now, once you've downloaded your wallpapers, you're going to want to click open and go to wherever they're saved. And uh, one thing I like about KDE is you can zoom into the previews. So there you can really see what it is you're selecting. And you can't do this with every desktop environment. This is, you know, this is nice. There are not always previews available in the uh, window when you go to choose an image sometimes, which I find odd. But anyway, choose your wallpaper and click open, and it'll show up here, and you highlight it, and you click apply. So we did that. Oh, let me go back because I want to mention this. It's important to, on some wallpapers, if you've got shapes and things like that, I always choose uh, scaled and cropped or scaled and keep proportions. If you choose just scaled, sometimes what will happen if the wallpaper doesn't match the resolution of your monitor is it will distort the shape. So if you had a circle, it'll go from, you know, a nice perfect circle to an oblong or something like that. So I like scaled and cropped in a lot of cases and uh, again, you know, experiment with that just to kind of make sure the image looks the way it should. Now the next thing I applied here, and I had this a little different in the beginning, but I applied a widget. So to apply a widget in KDE, you right click and you go add widgets. Now if by default lock widgets are on, you will not see add widgets. You'll have to go to unlock widgets. And then you simply choose add widget. And from there you'll see a selection of widgets with a description. Now what I did here, originally and I should have changed this back. This kind of looks like a, a clock off in the distance between two planes, you know, kind of cool, different. But what I originally had set up, and I just want to give you an idea of how you can really use this as a decoration more than anything and give it a really unique look. And let's, uh, let's stretch this up some here. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's move this around. So to move a widget, you left click and hold. And then you've got control there to move things around. So I'm going to pull this down just a hair. So we've got the light above the, the widget evenly spaced. And let's, we're going to have to stretch that out a little more, it looks like. And bam, there you go. So I kind of like that look. It's uh, you know it's a clean interface, and the uh, the widget matches the panel, and it kind of looks like it's a part of the wallpaper or part of the desktop, but it's interact, it's active. So I uh, kind of like that look. You know, to each his own. And I know, you know, this may look really ugly to some of you watching, but what I wanted to do was step through a process here to take kind of an ugly ducking, the ugly duckling of a distribution. Um, although it's great, OpenSUSE is great, don't get me wrong, uh, and turn it into something that looks a little more modern and a little more pleasing. And those are the steps I went through and applied, <clears throat> excuse me, those various themes. And uh, you can do the same steps, but, you know, choose your own themes, your own icons. There's a lot you can do within the KDE environment, I think more so than any other desktop environment. So have fun, and I hope this helps. We'll check you later.